Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Education. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. Yeshia Bium. Wapomotoden. How is the weekend going? How are my lovely cats? We are here to talk about education once again. How best you and I can help them. Now, Mamimbi Saude, so between this time to when your child will complete school, Ebi Sade Oria, Ejuma Dahua, Obetum Wenya Aye Ana, and Asa De, are you putting something in place for them? As we know, a number of students are graduating into unemployment. Anunti Enende, Yai Enajinide, and you guys know about the importance of encouraging Yana Mofama when it comes to entrepreneurship. My name is Daitessa Ampofu, popularly known as Madam Time Bomb, from Let's Talk Education, located at Teshi Nungwa Estate on the Mango Street. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Get all my kids settled and let's talk education. Going for a quick commercial break, we'll be right back. Welcome to Auto Check Vehicle Diagnostic and Licensing Center. I hear my car can be checked here without going to so many hour crap. Sure. Emission. Check. Alignment. Check. Brakes. Check. Visit Auto Checks at Koforodia Aquadrum Road for the roadworthiness of your vehicle, from saloon cars to heavy-duty industrial vehicles. Madam, your car is now ready for the road. Thank you so much. Auto Checks. Check. Auto Checks. Your safety, our priority. Check, check, check. Auto Checks. We are one man short. Should we invite him? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It'd be old cargo. Can I join you guys? Yeah. Always brave, fresh, natural, X, mineral, water, water, water. Got it. Always keep hydrated naturally. That's my secret. Manufactured with the primary aim of preserving nature's finest minerals necessary for a healthy mind and body. X Natural Mineral Water. Simply natural. Akwaba, uh, this is Let's Talk Education. And Mamenda Wasi, the Etna Jumezi, who in the Irish and in Eritrean for the betterment of Woba in the future. Say, Yaka unemployment, Aya is in Azunu Kwe, Che, 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 to Obia Wako School, where we wash a Juma na Onya, Ehu. That's where we think, uh, you think about Yazi Hanajin, Yazi Fafa, Yazi Ko. The obia of she juma no onye juma non the minote, but it starts from somewhere. Osha si fi baby, dama mi kaino, messi, sanche inya, ancha betcha ubaze, mo we hu bibi to help them in the future. Ana, ana se de as etna ho as bata no, calculate the fees you are paying from now onto ubabe we university. Na obeba betne fi, 
na onye jumanye for a period of 65 years still no onye jumanye or she say juma na chede wa ko school wa be fie but a how ni nara still wa be dawodo what do we do how best can we help our young ones so they don't fall into this a number of students graduate with certificates in all kinds of programs ready and poised to work after national service but what happens it takes just a few of them in a wenye juma oye or start finishing how did we not help and how did it come to where it is mamin break a documents ka ka be down in farm mom now it is important to introduce yana more from to early early entrepreneurship why because Sir Asher enrollment of Umana Work University. As to Umana Work graduate to a Juma or one by Nemo to a Kwana Oba for the Washishana Wai Yenue in Yabia and the Inhude Ohia, they ever push Yan and Mofama into it. Sir Ifa Yimpa and Coco 5,455 Nemo 11,000 NSWA NSSA Wutum Wanya Juma. Out of that, Nimpo is just 10%. 10% na bi so hu de aso ba ka hu ana ana de apage me bi ato aman a owe school obetu ma baba join na waye ma me break it down em ma as to last uh 2022 last year world rap bi bi anom na enrollment statistics for mo from uh ma me come from for me ka de yen young adults are work or into enroll into the university uh, that is 2022 or add up to 20 million 31000 Dominion Pan Conco Cocre and Walker University. The work was Siazi. Now, I'll bore one of them. Now, we are when you're a Juma Aye. But then, this is the case where from 2018 till now, we had a very statistical document put out there for Yara. There, Sir Ghana as a man, Yama Yenumudu and Shayan was in. When my air chair and more from a corner, what the Wafado was a bay Juma. Into me employing in Pabibre. Into watch or at all. Data research way at all. Fifty seven per cent. And I yen to me employ one. Kakabi, any able to me I employ one. And those are the people who have been prepped. Why prepare one for a juma nene? Mimbi so hunde. As to where did you get? And I started the air troll with CV. Abazumpune include on that. That alone can disqualify you. No one come more any easy. In Tennessee, human capital was them and obey. Then, how do we help our kids? Yeah, I mean, why do you remember if you can be from Nigeria, Tunisia, Morocco, South Africa, Algeria to Ghana? You know, me and Tanzania, they are breaking it down. There are about 279 universities. A year, you know, Crow universities are what are man and manum. Ghana used to have 66 universities. Um, Yan Canada 2020 20 break uh, 20, 20 breaking down. But them two years, Kakaya or Bakamia, Yaba 2021, 2022, 2023, Minyawo, Yamizi Yamquache, and Yawahe. Now we have more than 100 universities. Everybody wants to go to school. But how are we grooming our kids? How are we grooming our people that after school they can get good jobs to do? And are the jobs there? Why don't we encourage them to learn something beyond the four walls of the classroom? No one fan can't mo worry no one to mo fan ye juma. ENT ena yatnasi that it is good for us to talk education as we are talking education. Ene pe I mean our years in komo ne ya bua ye no mo frama ne ye hu sente a wode ye na mo kwano do na ye bua ye no mo frama wanda ache. You are a father, you are a banker, a your mother, a your medical practitioner, you are an engineer. You are a sound engineer. You are into geological engineering. At an adu market. You have a shop you are running. Nimu hinze and they're breaking it down. Amaoba watasi. That this is the world of business. When you look at what is happening now in the 21st century, CCIMA, it is young people who are developing new things to help the world grow. Technology. Sebio si yon onye my mirror. And onye my yen empire system. Things are changing day in and day out. So ask yourself, Akwe Jumaba, Uba in your be so daddy, how was work? How did it go? What did you do? Kojo Kojo, I'm very tired. I'm very tired. Please have a seat. You need to take my bag and put it down. Let me relax a little. We'll talk later. 
the letter will be next 10 years. The child just wants to know what you do. What do you do for a living? So they go to school, they ask them, my daddy is a banker, he works here. My mother is a businesswoman, she does this. My uncle is this. In a family, a number of professions people are doing. But here is the case you ask the child and they are even confused as to what exactly mommy does. I don't see mommy, oh. Mommy goes to work early in the morning. And when he comes, she comes home, me now I'm asleep. I don't even see mommy, I don't see daddy. They don't understand. All they know is daddy wakes up in the morning and goes to work. Let me tell you this little story. I had three kids I was training at school. That's Let's Talk Educational Consult. And as we were learning entrepreneurship in between, the court will understand the reason why their mommy comes home, sleeps and snow. Now you had a little one who was five years old telling me, Mr. Sir, mommy comes home every time and when she's sleeping, she snows. She makes a lot of noise. I can't even sleep. I don't understand why. I asked her, have you asked mommy the reason why? She said, mommy always says I'm tired. I want to sleep. And I was like, okay, let's have a little practice as to what mommy does. What does mommy do? And then the eldest goes, mommy is a nurse. She works at the hospital, a very big hospital. I said, okay, no problem. Today, we are going to work on an activity that will get us to stand for some minutes, not even hours, for some minutes. Okay, so we started working on these basic activities. We started getting them to understand. And at a point when they were falling in love, they got tired. This is, let's say, 10 minutes to 12, 15 minutes. And they were like, Mr. Sir, please, can I sit? Mrs. Sir, please, can we sit on the mat and work? Mrs. Sir, me, me, my back is paining me, my, my feet is... And I was like, okay, now you understand what you are doing. Your feet is aching. Your back is paining. You can't stand for long hours. Do you know that mommy stands for long hours, like four, five, six hours? Then they went like, hey, are you sure? I said, I'm very, I'm very sure. So we had to watch a little video of nurses working with doctors and how long they stand, especially when it comes to surgery. So then they understood. So the following week when they came back to Saturday school, they were like, Mr. Sir, we now understand mommy. So we asked mommy, mommy, when you go to work, you don't sit. You stand, you stand, you stand for a very long time. That is why when you come and you sleep, you snow. Nowadays, when you snow, won't talk okay. Are you okay? Can we massage your feet? Can we give you a, a back massage? So this is how it gets when you get a child to understand what you are doing. Not that alone. You push the child to understand that this is how your setting of work is. This is what you do. Aside telling them you help people, what else can they do beyond the walls of a hospital? Not being a nurse or dreaming about what they have to do. A lot of us have our kids in school. When it comes to professional day, that is when we decide to buy them dresses and dress them up. What do you want to be? I want to dress like a doctor. What do you want to do? I want to dress like a lawyer. What do you want to do? I want to. Why don't we go beyond just the dressing or having people come to talk to them about what they have to do to experience it in the places where these people are working and tell them they can do beyond. This is where your entrepreneurship program comes in. This is where you open the child's mind to the world. This is where you encourage the child to explore. This is where you help the child to stand on their two feet to tell you that they want to do something to help themselves and grow beyond what they are learning at that moment. Beyond the four walls of a classroom with just the paper and the pen. What they have to do, how they have to do it. Because you might be in that hall waiting for you. Another mommy in here, you might be in front to control wasn't in to her. Well, we have we have kids like that. And these kids are, have parents who have set up businesses for themselves. So why don't we push our children's mind to understand this entrepreneurship program, what it is, and all that it constitutes? Obi Bakadamaka entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship, abazanoye. Se amenawo yeka entrepreneurship is about yebwa obi and now somebody trying to set up a business for themselves. Obina and Kasa set up a baby for no home. Most of the parents here during there are your phone paying for. I come, I come in contact with a lot of parents. When you tell them that a four-year-old can start learning about entrepreneurship, they ask you how. 
How can a child at the age of four learn entrepreneurship? How can they put things together? How would they even understand? So entrepreneurship is the creation or the extraction of economic value. With this definition, entrepreneurship is viewed as change generally entailing risk beyond what is normally encountered in starting a business. Starting a business. That is all we want. I want us to emphasize on getting the child to understand the importance of starting a business. It could be a game. It could be a plaything. It could be something you are working around that will help the child to build themselves. Be sure that if you knew about these things and how early you could help your child to build themselves to that stage. And to be a wabo frabano, on ko school in Batnefie, seven years, eight years, still searching for a job. Why? Because the creativity aspect, the pushing life aspect, the line aspect of starting something is, is not really thought at school. We hardly teach it. We hardly. We hardly push the agenda of getting a child to identify a problem and solve it beyond the definitions what we want to understand and get from them. It is beyond that. So introduce them to little things. Little, little things around. Cutting, beading, blocking, Lego selling, art creation. Little, little things that will get them interested in doing what they have to do. So they know that setting up a business is not... You would need thousands of people, a number of people, needing a lot of things to start a business. See, if you get anybody who is an entrepreneur, that person will tell you how they started. And you might laugh, but that is how you can encourage your word to start. We don't know how to get kids together, even ourselves. We don't know how to get together, to put something together and bring it out there. Teamwork, we don't. Individually, we want to lock up everything. And the unfortunate aspect of it is that because we are not taught to be innovative and think beyond um, getting a job to do and being paid at the end of the month, somebody sees somebody selling tomatoes. Waha. Ochna. Oncheribia. Nosobaton tomatoes. Because the creativity is not there. The creativeness is not there. To get somebody set up a provision shop, 50 meters away, you get another person setting up a provision shop. Why? Because I want to do this. I want to create this. I want to put these things together. How can I get myself building this and that for myself and the others? I have a problem I identify. What is the solution they are putting at? That is why it is good for you to start working on that. Mikade, it will be important. It will be good. It will be lovely to get a four-year-old to understand entrepreneurship through money. Now, when you give a child money, no matter how young they are, they know what to buy with it. Have you asked yourself why? Emma Frabeska. When you mad out of the Why? Because when you know more than retarded, I put down a bottle of toffee, pencil, eraser, book, something. So if a child has the ability to buy, there is a relation to it that a trainer or bohu, how to save, how to put things in place, what to do and how to do it. See, Sawoba is between the ages of 10, 15 to 18 years. Old. That child should know how to write a resume. That is how I watch your CV. How I will relate with Nkofu. How I will cope with other people around them. How I will save a little by little. How I will interact with Obiojina Nenim to sell themselves. These are all part of entrepreneurship. So let's look at the importance and how best it can get your word when you teach them about entrepreneurship. And then we can break down to some of the things they can do to help them. In the process of entrepreneurship, note that explore. So you can explore now. They will go beyond the little things they are doing. And so they will come to understand that the other one This is what I will get. This is what I will take out from. This is what I can give to other people into what they explore. And then they will discover. If you look at the video, I worry you now. About there, these kids are seated in a circle thinking about how to set up a business. And these are young children who have come to understand that set, set up a business up. You need a business name. You need a location. 
how to set it up, the people you have to work with, how you have to relate with them. What are you nowadays want to be in? What experts are you looking at? Have an expertise and air share. A quana bendo and air befa. Time as bottom, time as bobway, time as bacaca fanyama, and how you put things together. This is how you encourage kids to learn for themselves. Now, the passion to work on it is very important. That is why such a bead making ya worry ya. They were thought through it. When you want to kind, the person who is teaching them is teaching them that honor falling in love with this because of this particular reason. Maybe the story will encourage another thing. And what they are doing, the beading, is worry one of my and one papa no one is in. To hand it over to them. If they can do this with joy, with attention, with focus, and give it to one of mommy and one of papa no ma. Tell me they wouldn't be encouraged to do it for their friends. And then it goes beyond. Is that? Entrepreneurship is that. And the work around it is to help your child build themselves after their university education. So these days, when somebody completes a university and is not getting a job, they're going to do their master's. Or in the master's, you are working on the home. Now, where is the experience? The experience is you teaching your word at home what they have to know and how they have to do it. So, I have to find a way to interact with my kids, the job I do, why I go to work that early, how I carry myself in that way and that manner, how I may relate with them, and all that, so that at a point the child understands the reason why you are leaving home at that time and coming home at that particular time. Teaching your word about entrepreneurship also helps them to think critically and carefully. Most of us have made decisions we wished we shouldn't have made. Maybe if we had, we had been taught how to go about it, that is decision making, critically thinking about it, carefully thinking about it, and I wouldn't make those mistakes. And they are all part of setting up your world to become an entrepreneur. And then we can also look at interest. First of all, you have to identify your word and the kind of interest they have. Which path? As I said about the career day, most of us look at the dresses that are very beautiful and then Yadashi Hanumba from Nordiko school. But then you need to find a way to communicate with the child in a way that you find an interest there. There are some kids, it will shock you that as you talk to them very early, they are ready to help others provide a service for others, to help and assist others. Why don't we go with it this way and go beyond just dressing up, coming to school, reciting poems, um, telling who we are, saluting through, and then getting an understanding of what we really have to do. Now, when you teach your word about entrepreneurship, it prepares them for the future job market. See, as I'm in our year in common now, in the next 10 to 15 years to come, we don't even know the kind of jobs that will be available for Hena Moframa. Because things are changing. Remember when COVID came, we had to sit home and work. I was wondering how many of us had that challenge, sitting and working through our computers and machines. Some of us do not know. Because the world is changing day in and day out. So when you encourage them and you teach them the measures, the things they have to know and all that, if the future jobs are like this, this is how I have to prepare myself towards it. This is how I can encourage myself and push myself because I had a 16-year-old I was training as an entrepreneur. She set up her own business. She wants to go into fashion. She set it up. We went outside to go check some shops. Shops, they are already into the fashion. Obisa questions how they are doing their stuff, how they are sewing, the designs they are picking, the kind of choice they made with the setup, even in the um, shop and the inside. And then how they've branded with the name and everything outside. And then she stepped out and she was like, Mr. So I said, yes, darling. E, so if I didn't learn this, like when will I learn? And she went to watch a telenovela. And in that process, there was a young lady who was talking about a business they have set up, how they want to run it. And that person was younger than her. And when she came to school, she was like, thank you, Mr. Sir, for opening my mind and my eyes to this. 
Why? Because I am watching people who are in it and they are even younger than me. If I tell you there are young boys and men, young boys and girls between the ages of 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 to 12 who are running big companies in America, you might tell me that it's a lie. But on Nankasa Kweshebi no Muniyin, she came in very appreciative. And that is when she took what she was learning seriously. Aside that, all the course school now oba back the following terminal. She came to tell me that Adibiara Osiyan Wahabiara obo anu school. Because now as she's learning, she's relating it to the entrepreneurship stuff she's learned for herself. And how are obo tum oda abuwa nehu. Into no say all your business, all your marketing, we're trying to market now. Now she is looking beyond the ordinary marketing. If I saw this or if I do this, how can I sell it? How do I convince a customer? And then she learned time management at school. And then she came back to tell us. The time management she learned here is the same thing she worked on when she was in school. But she got a very good understanding in a vivid way that he had a very good conversation with the teacher. This is how we push and encourage kids when it comes to entrepreneurship and how they have to build themselves to encourage themselves and push themselves up for the job market in the future. It also teaches them important life skills. How to work with money, how to, hold, how to hold on it, how to invest in certain areas, what to even invest in, how to cut things, according to our own size and our quotes. How to put our skills we've learned to play. Took a very long time in our life before we were able to gather it. So these life skills can help as they are learning. You know, an entrepreneur starting a business will hardly go outside to bring somebody in to put things in place. So you have to learn things around you that can help you. Fixing your own bulb, adjusting your own table, being that creative person to set up your creative office, putting things in place, managing folders, breaking um, things, putting them in places that will help you, encouraging yourself to relate with people, setting up your own play, yeah, your tables, how to, how to put your own self together. Because the money you need it to invest in the business before you go and bring somebody outside to come and chop the noko fuel you are making. So you are your own boss, your own secretary, your own chef, your own everything. So all these basic life skills are thought by that. And that child gets to know it and know it well. And then it helps them to learn difficult matters. They still through. When a child is thought about how entrepreneurship is all at, what they have to do, how they have to break themselves out, how they should stand out individually, how they should work on situations and issues that are very hard to work around. You get that child building themselves for that. Because when they start working on projects and it becomes very difficult, you encourage them and they go beyond it. And when they go back to their schools or whichever thing they are doing, they know that anything that falls before them, that is difficult to know. What do I sail through? Depending on how they will go about it. And then it is important for you to also know that as you are teaching them all these things, they can sail through helping you as a parent to also understand everything that revolves around learning beyond the classroom, learning who you are, what you do, how you do it, and then appreciating the fact that you work to take care of them. And as you work, you get money and they also enjoy the benefits of it. Let's go for a quick commercial break. We'll be right back.
Afrocini, exclusively on HG Plus Channel 115. Hmm. If a cry, Hmm. Eh, papa, na minya busia. Eh, dia tre me juma imu. Ka yu kwa ma bre. Minya busia. Ato taxi fufu. Suhum Rua Bank. Suhum Rua Bank. Suhum Rua Bank. Ye mamu akwa baba Suhum Rua Bank. Ye wan shise ya hudwa bi te se. Jadifuwa busia. E kwe kwe busia. Susu account. And it does all her savings account. Me bad that change savings account. And then the kicker home. Press to whom rural bank was 0342291896. Now one so what to me I can say. So whom rural bank? I'm a and then my car owner. So whom rural bank? And to me, pa mini. Me, damn what say. So whom rural bank? Growing our heritage. Welcome to the Royal Dazzle Event Center. With a lush and well-maintained lawn and garden, you are assured of the best serene and comfortable atmosphere to organize all your family and social events. Live the royal moments here with friends and family. The hosting capacity of 600 to 800 people makes Royal Dazzle the most versatile of places to host weddings, parties, funerals, conferences, concerts, and many more. Create your memories with us. Call us for inquiries on 055-814-8585 or 024-620-2144 or pass by and speak to any of our friendly staff. Locate us at MyJohn, close to Zoom Lion headquarters. Royal Dazzle Event Center, creating memories. We are one man short. Should we invite him? Yeah. yeah. It'd be old cargo. Can I join you guys? Yeah. Oh, it's drink, fresh, natural, eggs, mineral, water, water, water. Wow. That always keep hydrated naturally. That's my secret. Manufactured with the primary aim of preserving nature's finest minerals necessary for a healthy mind and body. X Natural Mineral Water. Simply natural. on HG Plus Channel 115. Okay, welcome back. 
Let's talk education. And yes, who in Komo? I mean, how yes, in Komo? Yes, yes. As to how to help here, number from when it comes to one of that thing. Yes, in Komo, very about entrepreneurship. Eh, um. Ma me mbo nya ma kure na ebien bi dwa obo bo ame na wo na ya bo a na embo from anom I know that obi baby said na so the minya me yogu he na me how can we help our kids learn with it when it comes to entrepreneurship e wa fra ba na nyu aji so win ho as a pam fashion men ka de sebio obi a ne tire wu wan ko school ana do nyi maze e na opa maze e bi san ho aso e kwa na wo fa do wo zi twa e tamino Se obi chatam at uh, for a very long time. Oh cha cha cha. Ne ne muscle memory no. And I'll pick up. And so design the business. Baba but ne nim. I want to make nye emma. When it comes to colors, it is important to be pushing more from to learn, especially those who are in love with it. There is a saying that when you are happy, you your hands naturally hurt for colors that are bright. When you are sad. It picks up colors that are very dull. And so when you are agile, I pick colors to the red, yellow, pink, purple, blue. These are the colors you pick up. But then, so if you are very dull, now when you are now you are very quiet. You pick colors like black, gray, brown. Them colors see an Arab. Maybe I'm making a color that is his or her favorite color. But we are learning. So you have somebody who is interested in fashion, somebody who is interested in putting colors together, like artwork. Dami inya me yosi me inya me. Yani sensorial materials, sensory materials ya ya disiyazi. Ebe feel there or your ordinary materials in a disiyazi. To get somebody who loves to be in the art world, say offer them a color ya, na offer them shape ya. That child knows how to go about it when it comes to arrangement. Arranging this alone can tell you the kind of art that my friend all put out there. That alone should push you to encourage the child when it comes to colors. Men can change the name to our baby or colors never color. We all can't be engineers. We all can't be doctors. We all can't be the lawyers. So some people have to bring the art into the world so we will all love and live in a lovely place. You know, when you look at these colors and how bright they are and how a child will naturally pick it up and put it there, as they are learning these colors, they are learning as to how they can work with it when it comes to picking colors to sew. So a child wants to learn fashion with colors. I was in Ewadoye. You need to encourage that child to know that each color goes with Obina's skin. Eshe nyipano ne skin. Ne 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 skin color or the or or the or the ba worship and other or the or benwa. You should know that a certain color cannot work with the skin. That's why Obi to my dress not terribly wash and or the or Konevi said that. Hmm. Now save your nyepe one shen who wash your shema na. It's not because of that. Ebi a nyepe no apa mazene soma no no. When to my explain in your matron. Into no you have ebi a bright colors going for people who are dark in complexion. Um, dull colors going for people who are very, very fair in complexion. So you have to blend it. Na in kade miko use blue. Na me de another color be is a kahu a onfa. When you take blue, it goes with yellow. Huh? When it comes to fashion, it goes with yellow. In tayo pama tayo bine pede design bibi no blue and yellow. The person sewing for you can tell you that. And maybe sada how many of us go to the baby ayeka pama de. And then they tell us, oh, Mupocho, what time year is that? It will not work with your skin color. And then we go haywire. I see the entire secret. That was the internet. I told my mom, I told my mom, I told my mom, I told my mom, I shouldn't do it. This is how we need to teach our kids to understand. They are on your baby, and they are on your show. I told my mom, I told my mom. So as you are interacting with them, they get to know that colors play a very key role when it comes to fashion and arts. Because colors speak. Obia color bia one day. Yellow or stand for what? Red might be danger for you, but it might be love for somebody else. Um, green might be nature, but it might be peace for somebody else too. The masana yellow could stand for the bright, warmy weather or sun, 
that you are looking out for. But it could also mean that that person has so much energy in them, they can also bring out. And so, say, notice that uh, most of people overseas, they were careless to relate a particular activity or a show that is going on into one pickup colors, one shekeke. And it's all about fashion. That's how we can push them to learn through that, especially Obi are you interested in fashion and art. Now let's look at marketing. Say you try here number from Adi Wofi. Ante man sa wo market. Oko market are our skills and ways to encourage somebody to buy. Abazinti, a number of people are there selling the same tomatoes. How do you get people to come in? So, mummy, ebe fi na me bani biso de eton a de eton a den. How did you go about it? Ah, maubunfu. It's an art. It's a craft. I order more from an Oceania zifu wenchen. And see, a wanya ma suenim. You have a lovely basket, and then you come in. Eh, ofa ne ba oba. Baba to me nyame yi mami. Brobo te yi mami. Ah, oya konai. Oya fewai. Wokono ndra. It doesn't come natural to everybody. Sometimes we have to learn. And it's an art to get somebody, for you to draw an attention of obi. They oba appreciate as o suwe nyim. And as you are selling, and you are interacting with the person, and build a trust with that person. So at the end of the day, that person becomes your customer. In tab if ye a ton tomatoes, a ton banana, a ton apples, a ben kwan ne fadu kazigwan. What time did you leave to go and buy the materials? Sika hin en as a toy. As a bay ahin no say. Ma ahin ne tu gui. Ahin ne tonia itu is a shim. Ahin en as a todo. How much did you add to your unyama akafaba? Why? Because a full car. Woman power kahu. We labor kahu. Want na say, baby, I was torn. Rub on pairs, Bishop, my achacher. Then you never come on or encourage my boy and more from my mosses. So, if you're a teacher and you're at school and you're teaching kids how to sell another fruit, okay, when a day a child you have in your class could fall in love with it because I have one and her name is Anna. I be some of a catcher that she wants to be a businesswoman. Why she wants to sell in the market because in a mommy turn a day, then I'm not turn a day. And the only thing she's seen is the money that's coming in <laughs> as to how they are selling it. Honestly. So whenever it comes to selling, whenever it comes to learning about entrepreneurship, that's a diver to selling her at Let's Talk Educational Consultant. You have her loving it. And then she'll be calling you to come and buy her stuff. And then when you come, where is she dressing for when you're a Spectacles be your best. The makeup be your best. Or be canal red. It be Sunday. And uh, why do you have a red lipstick? Oh, Mr. Sir, it's to attract my customers. So just, just imagine. And this is a six-year-old who just turned seven. Nano keke no And these are ways you encourage kids to know that some mami sora anapa no kogum no kotonaza. It's not because sebi wanko school. It's not because wanye bibi anko nini. There are people with degrees, there are people who hold masters sitting in the market and selling with a different style. The sanction ye. Let's say kids now know what one marketing skills was the law we in a better than a simple. A better never if your baby's on the ah, did I really need this thing? Did I really have to buy this thing? So not just about as a fruit or a child from any keke. No. Encourage them to push it out. Miss Mobes is shining po. Is, is an artwork, an arrangement in a way that Obe attract Obi. No, we you know our friend and colleagues work are there. Hey, so you won't buy my stuff. Do you know how I preserve them? Do you know how I keep them? Do you know the things I used to clean them? Uh, go and buy the nyama nyama things. Eh? If you eat and you'll be healthy. One aspect, going beyond the classroom. You eat something, you have to be healthy. You eat something, you have to keep safe. And so why in a fine is this one? Now you're for more. And so we do not discourage anyone. And so we do not encourage anyone. The way building itself up when it comes to entrepreneurship, it starts from the classroom. It starts from And so as you build yourself to encourage a child who wants to go to the market and sell, when can you go to the office? 
na office no be maniska. It's not only about the office. We are not all born put together to go to school and learn and, and go to the office and that is what is killing us. All of us, you move from school and at the end of the day we want to go and sit in the office with an AC tie and now tell you I dress armor. That is where somebody will tell you that when it comes to money in Africa, it is in the 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 Serbia, the gutters. That's where they will tell you. Se e pescana or your fum and a binyan or yes sitting there. And so let's encourage our kids to move beyond and learn beyond the classroom as we are teaching them. Now I have this before me. Somebody might think it's just shapes. Because you have the colors, well, and look at the air or your colors, just shapes. This is where your engineers are built from. Your geological engineers, your technological engineers, your IT engineers, this is where they are built from. From shapes, circle, triangle, square, this is where they put the shapes together to learn, to design all your houses, to design all your, your other buildings you want to put together, wompa, wood table, everything. From here, you get all the types of engineers you are looking for, including yen wood carpenters, yen wood workers. Because cutting the sizes. Before an Arabic nest, we design table round in Azamon. Naturally, we've groomed and prepared them from a place they've already been introduced to. So you have somebody who loves to pick up your stuff, open them. And I know one. And now the type of engineer, or you know, he is beyond your normal engineer you are looking out for. And he's setting up something for himself. Because Mori, you know, on soon, so Oko beyond, become an entrepreneur and then fill up a space or feel that there is a void. So allow the kids, eh, I will be able to do it, I will be able to do it. When you have stuff at home, like radio, give it to them if they love it. And I feel that you're right, brothers. What's that here and where you're playing? They have to spoil some stuff. Now, what I was saying, you know, and son, we too was in Wakano, I saw do. Money quite no boy boy radio, no, the watch now I was saying, and for my friend and on Fenzu, on Fenzu Juma. Hm? Mom boy boy do kaka, phone in our said that one, worrying him the infant yeshi. Hand it over to the child, let the child play with it. Or to never be an obey your phone, your son, may ye use in dempo. Kay, when a day, I've already said. That the next 10 years, 15 years, or the human, we do not even know the kind of jobs our kids are coming to do. So allow them to explore, allow them play along, get them learning materials, so obobua, more explore beyond my hour. And as parents, let me take this opportunity. Okay, when a day, as I've already said, on your four walls, going to sit in to work in an AC, getting down in your car moving out and all that, and now all this kind of ever. When you teach them these things, they can do that and add an extra. I know somebody who is at a bucket place I wouldn't mention. Or you're being in a bar where you're so bolo. Now the type of so bolo no you know. Or the not this year's Or yeah, something related to our Greek. Waste your business, how to sell, how to put things in place. Neska Onya from there through the supply now. It's even more than what he is getting from the office he's sitting and all of that. So allow the kids to explore. And you want to think more about what you want them to do. And you want to think more about your own job, how you are going about it. And open their mind to the world so that we're born there. It is important to learn and learn entrepreneurship. Skills that will help them develop, skills that will help them look beyond what they want to do themselves. And so as a parent, I'm sure you've learned so much and you've gathered so much information to help your word. It is good to teach your word entrepreneurship. This has been Let's Talk Education. or from a dietessa and Pufu, aka Madam Time Bomb. From Let's Talk Educational Consult, our Tashi Nungwa Estate, or Ben Lejakuku Municipal Assembly. Follow Let's Talk Educational Consult on Facebook, Instagram, 
and LinkedIn. A bottom so I send a one message. Eh, so a question be never day be sir. A bottom I send the offer. You be ready now. Yeah, yeah, answer. Fair, fair, fair. Deba. Call us on zero two four nine zero six nine eight two one. Zero two four nine zero six nine eight two one. Let's send a yummy adoma. Yabisha. Catch you. Bye bye.